Hello, we are Team F1 uh, from Belarus and this is our first participation in Europa Cup Asia Pacific. I am Daniel Posnik and I am designer and programmer of our goalkeeper. Hi, I am Daniel Mitsarovsky and I am designer and programmer of our forward. Uh, now we will show you uh, our robots. Our robot is powered by four Lego motors with installed on the wheels. We have four sensors on our robot. Two of them are an exterior reflect light sensors, which helps our robot detect white lines on the field. The next sensor is high-technic infrared seeker, which helps our robot to detect the ball. And the fourth sensor is high-technic compass sensor, which helps our robot keep uh, the correct position on the field. There are two main reasons to join RoboCup for us. The first reason is that this challenge is more interesting than our previous football challenges. And the second reason is the community. We know that the community of RoboCup is very friendly and interesting and we want to join this company. When we came to RoboCup, we have two main problems. The first problem was that we can't detect the position of our robot on the field. Uh, so we start to program our odometry and now we can detect this position. The second problem was that previously we just participating only in World Robot Olympiad. And now in RoboCup we have uh, white lines, so we need to detect them. We installed two light sensors of LEGO Minecraft MXT to our robots and program them. And now our robots can easily check this line and follow field. The priorities of designing and programming robots was the same. We have a lot of uh, experience in building robots in our previous challenges. That's why rebuild our previous robot for RoboCup was easy. In program, we just include some new features. Our program consists of two main parts: odometry, uh, searching the ball. Line searching and uh, alignment for the enemy gate by odometry. So for us, the most difficult part was odometry because odometry use motor counts, but in Lego motors not as uh, accurate as we want to them to be. Therefore, real position of the robot on the field and uh, results of odometry doesn't match due to cumulative error. So we reset the values of the odometry every time a robot uh, means white line. Now we realized uh, that LEGO platform is not the best platform for RoboCup. That's why we start to build new robots on Arduino platform. And in the next challenge, uh, we plan to participate on new robots. Thank you.